Welcome once again to the lesson Introduction to Acid and Base for Standard 8. And here we will be doing all about bases. Now, a base is a substance whose water solution gives hydroxide or OH ion. We have already learnt in the previous video about acids that acids in water give the H or hydrogen ion whereas the base now gives hydroxide or OH negative ion. For example, NaOH or sodium hydroxide gives Na plus plus OH that is the hydroxide ion. So if you see here, Na is the positive ion and OH is a negative hydroxide ion. So when NaOH, sodium hydroxide, which is a base, is put in water, it separates to give Na plus and OH minus. So this hydroxide ion, OH minus, is a component of the base. That's how we come to know it is a basic substance. So some of the bases, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. The formula of bases and their uses. Sodium hydroxide is also called caustic soda. The molecular formula NaOH and it is used as washing soap. Potassium hydroxide, known, also known as potash, formula KOH used as in soaps and shampoos. Calcium hydroxide or lime water, CaOH2, is used as lime or for white washing. Magnesium hydroxide or milk of magnesia, MgOH2, acidity resistant medicines or antacids, that is its use. And ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH, for the production of fertilizers. So we have five different bases here, their formulas and where they are used. The properties of bases or alkalis. First of all, they have a bitter taste as compared to acids that have a sour taste. Bases are slippery to touch. They contain hydroxide or OH negative as a main constituent. And metal oxides, that when we, you know, uh, metal uh, mixes with oxygen, they form metal oxides. These are generally basic in nature. If you can see here, a base in water gives you OH negative ions. Now, a substance that neutralizes an acid is a base. And that which is soluble in water is an alkali. Meaning that when we mix an acid and a base, Acid has different properties, base has different properties, but when they mix together, they neutralize one another. Then no properties are seen either of an acid or of a base. Now a base which is soluble in water, all bases are not soluble in water, but which is soluble in water is called an alkali. Therefore, all alkalis are bases, but all bases not soluble in water are not alkalis. Some common alkalis are sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide and ammonia. The formulas given at the side NaOH, KOH, CaOH2 and NH3. Red litmus turns blue in an alkali exactly opposite of an acid. 
in an acid blue litmus turns red but in a base red litmus turns blue colorless phenolphthalein now phenolphthalein is another indicator you have learned about it is colorless but when it is put in an alkali or a base that phenolphthalein turns pink and therefore these two indicators tell us that the solution is a base or an alkali we now come to a very important uh, reaction between acids and bases which is called neutralization now, we have seen that an acid contains h positive or hydrogen ions and a base contains oh negative or hydroxide ions when we combine an acid and a base salt and water are formed so acid plus base gives you salt and water this is one example of the acid hydrochloric acid and the base sodium hydroxide giving you the salt nacl nacl is common salt sodium chloride plus water so acid and base combine to give you water and salt this reaction is called neutralization and in short the properties of bases they are bitter to taste they turn red litmus paper blue and they are slippery to the touch